If you're trying to build out your bedroom, you've probably heard of the Helix mattresses, but what makes them so special? We're here to talk about that today. Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. Today we're talking about all six Helix mattresses, their different firmnesses, their different feels, and help you choose the right one for you. Let's get started. First off, you wanna see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. There you're gonna find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Helix mattresses. You'll also find some great exclusive coupons in the description below. So again, we're talking about the Helix mattresses, and right now they offer six main mattress models. They also offer a plus model for heavier people and also a latex model for those who want something more eco-friendly. But today we're talking about their hybrid line of mattresses. They range from very, very soft to very firm as well. And they range in terms of feel. You have some more slower moving mattresses. You also have those that are more bouncy and responsive. So a lot to go through those. So let's unzip these mattresses, see what's inside. So let's take a look at the construction of all the Helix mattresses. And while they do have some different materials in their construction, there are some major similarities between all six mattresses. First off, they the same cover. It's a soft touch cover. It is thin and breathable as well. Won't affect the overall feel of the mattresses too much. They also have the same support layer. So individually wrapped coils over a base foam layer. But the main differences are going to be found in the comfort layers. So let's look at those each one by one. Starting with the Sunset. On top, you're going to have a layer of Memory Plus Foam. It kind of has that slow-moving memory foam feel. allows you to sink in a good amount. And below that, you're going to have a layer of Helix Dynamic Foam. It's going to be a latex alternative. It's bouncier, more responsive. Then moving on to the Moonlight Mattress. On top, you have a layer of that Helix Dynamic Foam, so bouncy responsive. Below that, another layer of Helix Dynamic Foam, so more of a bouncy responsive feel on top of that mattress. Moving on to the Midnight Mattress, their most popular model. On top, you're gonna have a layer of that Memory Plus Foam again, and below that, a layer of high-grade poly foam. Moving on to the Dusk Mattress, on top, you're gonna have a layer of Helix Dynamic Foam, so that bouncier foam, and below that, a layer of Memory Plus Foam. Moving on to the Twilight Mattress, on top you're going to have a layer of Memory Plus Foam, and below that a layer of High Grade Poly Foam. Finally moving to the Dawn Mattress, on top you're going to have a layer of Helix Dynamic Foam over a High Grade Poly Foam. So what does all that mean? Well again, the main difference is going to be in the comfort layers of these mattresses, and because they're going to have some different firmnesses and some different feels with all six mattresses. Let's hop into that right now. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. And again, one of the main differences between these six mattresses is their firmness. Let's go through each one by one. Starting with the Sunset mattress, their softest model is going to be a five and a half out of 10, definitely softer than average. Moving up to the Moonlight mattress, it's going to be a six out of 10, still a little bit softer than average. Moving to the Midnight mattress, it's going to be the most popular model. It's gonna be kind of in that medium firm range, a little bit firmer than average though, with a seven out of 10. Now, moving up to the Dusk mattress is also going to be a 7 out of 10, so these two mattresses right in that kind of medium firm range. Now, if you want to get even firmer, you can go for the Twilight mattress, a 7.5, or also the Dawn mattress, a 7.5 as well. Now, the feel is also going to be different with these six mattresses. So, with the Sunset mattress, with the Midnight mattress, and the Twilight mattress, they all have more of that slow-moving feel right on top of the mattress. They have Memory Plus Foam right on top. Overall, though, more of a balanced foam feel with some responsive layers sometimes in the second layer, and also some bounce from the coils as well. Now looking at the Dust Mattress, also the Dawn Mattress, and the Moonlight Mattress, overall more of a latex bouncy feel right on top of the mattress. They have Helix Dynamic Foam right on top of the construction, so more bouncier, more responsive overall. So I got to sleep on all six mattresses. I finally be a better fit for different sleeping positions. Let's talk about each position one by one. Starting with side sleeping, I did prefer the Sunset and also the Moonlight mattress. That's because there's are softer models in this line. I felt better pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. Definitely what you're looking for when you're side sleeping. Now moving to back sleeping, I definitely preferred the Midnight and also the Dusk mattress. They're closer to medium firm, a good balance of comfort and support. My hips sink in, not too far, good lumbar support, good overall support as well. Finally, moving to my stomach, definitely the best match for me was the Dawn mattress. It's the firmest mattress in this line. I felt better support under my hips. I wasn't bowing in or getting out of alignments. 
So here at Mattress Clear, I like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. Now let's pull up the results for the Helix Midnight, their most popular model. It's also close to medium firm, so it gives you a good idea of how well it relieves pressure overall. Now pay close attention to my shoulders and my hips when I'm side sleeping. If you sleep with a partner, you also want to think about motion transfer. Basically, if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Then to test out the motion transfer with these mattresses, place a glass of water in the center of the mattress, press on the other areas, kind of trying to disturb that water, seeing if motion transfers from one side to the other. Now we saw the best motion isolation with the sunset, the twilight, and also the midnight. They have sloping foam right on top of the mattress, absorbing a lot of that motion. Now to further test out the motion transfer with these mattresses, I lay down on one side of the mattress, Danny moved around on the other side, kind of switched positions, got in and out of bed. I felt less of that motion transfer on those three mattresses. Now if you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the mattress, you also want to think about edge support. Basically if you're sitting down or lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure and working to roll off and onto the floor? Now, I personally tested out the edge support on all six mattresses. I felt secure sitting down and lying down near the edges. I will note that I felt a little bit better edge support on the firmer models. So which of these mattresses should you get? Well, starting with the Sunset mattress, it's definitely a better option, I think, for side sleepers. Those who like that slow moving feel right on top of their mattress. Moving on to the Moonlight mattress, a better option, I think, for side sleepers who require a little bit more support and those who prefer something bouncier overall. Moving on to the Midnight Mattress, this is going to be a good option for back sleepers who prefer more of a slow moving feel right on top of their mattress. It's also a good match for combo sleepers. Then we have the Dusk Mattress, also a good match for combo sleepers and back sleepers who prefer something a little bit more responsive. Then moving on to the Twilight Mattress, a good match for back sleepers who require a little bit more support and some stomach sleepers as well. And last but not least, we have the Dawn Mattress, a good match for stomach sleepers, and those who prefer a firmer mattress overall. So if you buy a Helix mattress, it's going to come to your house in a cardboard box. So how do you unbox it? Well, it's really easy if you follow these instructions. First off, ask your friend for help bringing the mattress inside. It can be quite heavy. You don't want to hurt or strain yourself. Then bring that box into your bedroom, open up the top of the box, and take out your rolled up Helix mattress. Place this on your framework foundation, slowly carefully cut the layers of plastic. You don't want to damage your brand new mattress. Clear away all the packing and shipping materials, give it about 24 to 48 hours, complete off gas and expand, and you're good to go. So I want to give you some additional information about the Helix mattresses. First off, they come with free shipping and returns, a 100 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty. Obviously they offer many mattress models, accessories, and also financing as well. Now, if you're interested in buying a Helix mattress, definitely head over to mattressclarity.com for some great exclusive deals. Now I'd like to answer some frequently asked questions about the Helix mattresses. The first question is, is Helix a good mattress? In our experience, these are good mattresses. You have multiple firmness options, multiple feel options, easy to find the right fit for you. Now, the second question is, how long do Helix mattresses last? Now, looking at their construction, their high-end materials, their durable materials, should last for between seven and 10 years. The last question is, can you flip a Helix mattress? And the quick answer is no, you cannot flip a Helix mattress. It's only designed to go one way with the base layer on the bottom, the transition layer in the middle, and the comfort layer right on top. At this point, you should know which Helix mattress is right for you. But if you're still a bit confused or want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Well, that's about it. Just get started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. Hit the like button and subscribe.